This is an update on our research to find a MRSA cure or MRSA treatments that are viable that will help our clients who already have MRSA. Now, antibiotics actually developed MRSA, began with staph infections, and people took antibiotics to cure these infections, and what happened was the antibiotic killed off the weakest bacteria, but a few really strong ones remained, and those replicated and possibly moved to a new host and started a new infection. So that person went and got antibiotics, and the, the antibiotics killed off most all of the staph infection, but a few strong ones remained, and those replicated, and they continued on and on, infecting more and more people with stronger and stronger staph infections, till finally our antibiotics and the overuse of them actually created the MRSA bacteria. And the question remains, what are we going to do when antibiotics fail? Well, we researched and uh, we found some MRSA cures and a number of customers tried these. And uh, here are a list of the ones that failed. Changing the biological terrain is a great goal and ultimately it's the best thing to do. You want to make your system much stronger by eliminating sugars, uh, simple starches, uh, excess of alcohol so that your body does not play a, a, a host to infections such as MRSA. But this does take a lot of time and if you have a full-blown MRSA attack it's impractical to try to change that terrain to be able to heal yourself from that infection. Now there are, are very powerful plant medicines available and these work really well on the skin infections by MRSA. Uh, ones I'm thinking of are the honey that comes from the tea tree plant and it works great. Uh, you can rub it on a boil or an open wound, but if you have MRSA in your in your knee joint or an artificial or replaced hip or in a heart valve, it's not you're not going to get the honey in there fast enough to do any good. Household chemicals. Now this is on the internet and people say that they use uh, some household chemicals and they work very well. Things like milk of magnesia, and uh, uh, alkalizers, uh, bicarbonate of soda, but again these don't work fast enough and if you've got a serious case of MRSA you don't want to fool around with them. Colloidal silver has been used by a lot of people and it does work but it's slow and people have not gotten uh, complete removal of the MRSA bacteria from their system. We're really happy to report that we have found a few new treatments that are very effective. Uh, the first one I want to tell you about is a treatment and it's a patented technology that structures water into AG404 which is a crystalline lattice in the water and it's re, uh, received FDA approval for use with MRSA. We first encountered this in a group that uh, was a humanitarian organization working in Africa to combat malaria and they used AG404 to stop the malaria parasite very effectively. It took about three to five days and they worked with uh, orphanages and saved a lot of people's lives using this and it does work well with MRSA. The FDA approval is for a doctor's variety of the product but there's also an over-the-counter of a uh, variety now available and they the both of them work the same. The doctor's version works a few minutes quicker than the over-the-counter version. Now you can see our website over on the right side of the screen. You can go there for uh, updates and access to these technologies. And the last one I want to tell you about is uh, an actual MRSA cure and this was developed abroad and uh, it has yielded solutions so that people who've gone to uh, the countries that have clinics that provide this technology uh, say that they no longer have fear of any infection. 
And the great news is that the FDA has approved many aspects of this technology, and it's now available in the U.S., and it's affordable. So please go to our website, and you'll be able to get updates and get access to these.